Hi, happy Monday. Um, we are going to continue on with this colonizing of the moon. And so um, our next step is to really start to dig a little deeper into what makes your particular colony unique and then also give you a chance to make it as strong and um, as like connected with the other colonies as possible. So you really get to take this as far as you want. Um, and by that, I mean like as far as your imagination can take you. And I encourage you today um, to use your imagination, but also maybe try to ground a little bit of it in um, science fact. So I'll explain what I mean about that here in just a second. The very first thing you're going to be doing is you are going to be basically this upper portion right here. You are responsible as a colony to every three months be sending spaceships filled back with resources from the moon to your home country on Earth. Because if you remember from Friday, a king in a country on planet Earth has sent you up to the moon to basically like gain resources for your home country. Um, and so what you're gonna be brainstorming with your group is what can your colony be doing, making, mining, that is really useful and helpful for the people on planet Earth and your country. Um, and when I say it's, you can use your imagination, this is something that does not have to be 100% truly possible. Um, in fact, it could be like 99.9% .9 fictitious. But maybe you say, you know, for example, that um, we're constantly looking for like water on the moon or something like that, right? You have this like one little nugget of knowledge. You can turn that into something creative and crazy like you're digging underground tunnels and I don't know, okay? It's whatever you want to take it as. And the idea is, is that it's unique as possible. I'm giving you permission to really make some fantasy of this here. Um, and again, it's important that it is unique for your colony. So don't be trying to like steal what other people are doing. Um, kind of keep it a secret because you want to make sure you're setting yourself up for success. Later on, you will be working um, to send a representative out from your group to go to the other colonies to hear a little bit about what they have and set up trade partners with one another. Um, your sub will walk you through that when the time comes, but you wanna set yourself up for being really unique and valuable. And at the same time, um, you also want to be like ready and open and listen to kind of make connections with the other colonies on the moon. 